finally something actually worth me putting a video out on for arc as of late besides the stuff that uh odd gaming and that have been putting out which has been awesome content um with the snail gaming and everything what's going on there please check them out uh if you want to know more on that but for me community crunch 368 roadmap asa update asa comparison and more basically we're getting to find out what's going to happen with asa so here we go welcome to another edition of the community crunch survivors after much deliberation we've decided to delay the launch of arc survival ascended to later this year and ship the title on xbox series x s playstation 5 and pc in october 2023 so they've pushed it back another by see months almost um because we like we never saw that coming but anyway we found it challenging work working in the unreal engine 5.2 at the same time it's been incredibly exciting or two but okay we're discovering new ways each day to push the technology to the next level combined with the work needed to support a fully crossed over platform moddable ecosystem on consoles in pc it's clear that they need a bit more time because they always need a bit more time everybody because you know it is what it is but we all are supposed to be understanding when we don't want to listen to anybody we've also decided to separate the release release date of the island and score stirred with what we've learned about remastering the island from the ground up, it wouldn't be feasible to complete Scorched Earth to a standard that we're happy with. So now, for now, we're going to plan that Scorched Earth will be coming to ASA in December this year. Ragnarok and Aberration will follow in Q1 2024 and the rest of the maps beyond then. Okay, given the news, Arc Ascended will now be launching at an early access price of $44.99 with a launch discount of bringing it down to $39.99. We have initially planned to ship with more content on day one, but that won't be happening. So we're adjusting the launch price accordingly. We know you really want to get your hands on ASA. We appreciate the support and enthusiasm. We're going to do our best to work hard to make sure that we can deliver a tremendous next-gen ARC experience that meets both your expectations and their own. Everything they do meets our expectations. Yeah. Anyway, that covers the big news. Big news. And we know that there is still a fair bit of time between now and the launch, so hang in there. It'll be worth the wait. In the meantime, here's some answers to the questions we've seen come up over the last few weeks, as well as address some points. You know, I've seen hundreds of questions come up in the last week. Who wants to bet that they're not going to cover uh, anything except maybe a few relevant topics, but ignore the rest? So here we go. When will we see gameplay? We know you're excited and curious and skeptical. We understand. Because anybody who's stuck with this as long as I have and others and you all have out there, how can we not? We understand. Our plan is to show gameplay close to the launch of ASA as that will, that'll be when it's completely ready and best represents the final product. So you'll have to stay tuned until then. I'm fucking riveted. Is there going to be a change in the date when Arc S Survival Evolves official network comes down? For you people, you realize they're still playing on the old servers. You know, talking about August, it was supposed to go down, but now they've changed their mind. We're now planning on shutting down the official network on September 30th, given the slight delay in the launch of the game. So they're giving you guys an extra 30 days to basically kiss your dinos goodbye that you spent seven years working. Will we be able to access your save files? What we're referring to is to be able to download your single player, you know, your old, your actual files from your official server to your single player or even possibly a Nitrato server. So here we go. That's what it's saying. We're currently working with Nitrato to make sure that the save file system works. And we'll be providing instructions on how to get them when they're available. Our intention is to take multiple saves at different times so you can choose which one is most relevant to you. With score starts being delayed, will there be server transfers? Well, if there's only going to be one fucking map um, coming out uh, first, which will be the island on, a on ASA, how the fuck would there be transfers? Seriously. Okay, we won't be supporting server transfers because where the fuck are you going to go? At the launch of Ark Survival Ascended, this feature will become enabled when Scorched Earth releases fully in December, and you'll probably end up losing all your shit that you took to get created up till December anyway. But here we go. How long should we expect the title to be in early access? I'm sure a ton of people really wanted to know this, but okay. 
Arc Ascended will leave early access in late 2024, once all the content has been finished with its next generation remastering. Are there going to be any changes to the release date of certain content? Well, generally, we will keep the canonical, canonical, bear with me, folks. English is tough sometimes for me. Mass release in the same order. We make some adjustments with some of the non-canon maps and release them sooner, but honestly, it depends on more of our pipeline. So we'll announce them accordingly. And excuse everybody, I've got uh, sinus is real bad. My apologies. We will be see will we be seeing more ASA concepts because we all love them fucking drawings. Yet we will intend to keep on showing you guys progress on the visual changes between Arc SC, which survival evolved the old Arc, and the ASA. And in, in the lead up to the game's launch. And what about those ever also uh, you know important creature votes? They will be continuing to run. In fact, the team has been working on the design for the Giganto Raptor. From the conceptual point of art point of view, as well as actual gameplay mechanics, so we can't wait to show you those in the weeks ahead. Weeks, we'll, we'll see if this actually happens. As always, they're incredibly grateful for your our ongoing support and passion for the franchise. Thank you, Steve. Uh, and here we have a lovely setup. Now, to me, does this does this look like basically everything he looks brighter or possibly a different color with a little more contrast? Because that's all it kind of looks like to me, but. This is what we've been getting every week. Last week was a beautiful fishing rig that I really didn't give two shits about. Folks, this is all that there is out there now, but it is a little bit significant. So I did decide to put a video out. And as always, you guys are awesome. Uh, for you guys that still follow this channel, even though I don't post very often, you know, my hat's off to you. The ones that still come in and content and everything, you know, come and comment and everything, my hat's off to you. I also stream on Twitch. I've had a few of you come over to my Twitch channel, which is Omega Dons Gaming 1977 on Twitch. Um, and come in and watch some of my streams there. And I will be buying a essay. I know I said I probably wasn't going to, but shout out to Enraged Pumpkin. So, uh, Rhino. Fastest Rhino, to be clarified. A boy, SOF, Dev Shot. I've talked to two of them who are definitely wanting to play to, together. And I've been with these guys for damn near seven years. They're, in fact, they're the people who actually taught me how to play ARC. They have more time in it than I do, and I have a lot of time in. Um, we're going to get together on the new official servers and start from scratch, just like everybody else, and go. And we'll sure will be videos on that coming up when it, we release, and I will be doing live streams on it. Yeah. But for now, I've been doing weekly podcast about every Saturday on Twitch. So if y'all want to come hang out there, this Saturday I'm having another podcast, which is at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I come hang out. Give your opinions. There's, you know, all opinions are honored and respected. Um, come hang out. Join the discussion. Have some fun. Um, hope to catch y'all there. I'm not going to give you the spiel that I see everywhere else. Of you know, if you like this content, subscribe and yada yada yada. Just you coming in and watching. And leaving comments is much appreciated. I do appreciate it. I'm not pushing for the whole partner thing or anything. This is a hobby for me. I do this because it, it gives me enjoyment. Uh, the streaming, the commenting, on uh, watching other streamers and that, commenting while I'm always watching YouTube um, and checking out other people's content because there's so many awesome art content creators out there. I know. And then there's some ones that aren't that great that literally just kiss wild cards ass and i won't even go there um but for you all i would say have a great day and there's no happy arcing right now but again do the best you can have a safe fourth of july weekend even though fourth of july is on tuesday but of course this weekend in the u.s be safe out there be careful enjoy the holiday and uh, much love and i hope to see you all on saturday on twitch uh, for the podcast so Thank you.